Meet Ashley and Andrew. They have to deal with Gina's little twist. You have to hand full control of your wedding day to one of your mothers. That's stressful. I like things done my way. If I put my mind to something and that's what I want, that's what I'm getting. Will this be the wedding of their dreams or a total nightmare? Christine, you just want not, a big no, fancy no, wedding. You're being totally useless. That's it. I'll go. May the best mom win. Ashley and Andrew are all kisses and love. We've been together for six years. Ashley is loving, caring. She mm -hmm. wants to be snuggled. She's wonderful with everything. What I love about Andrew is he's very sweet, even though he doesn't show it. <laughs> you want some couscous? No. I can make some garlic bread? No. Oh, God. Did you want to make me some chicken? <laughs> yes, I'll make you some chicken, of course. <laughs> we met at a friend's house. I didn't like him. I thought he was really rude and offensive. <laughs> Second time we met, and she couldn't resist me. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot different than the first time. <laughs> Loved her ever since. But they can't seem to actually make it down the aisle. Been engaged for three years, and we've postponed the wedding three times. First time, we had to move. Second time was the baby. And the third time was when I was about six months pregnant, my brother passed away, so we postponed it for that as well. I wanted both my brothers to walk me down the aisle, <laughs> but I just really miss him. Wedding planning is getting stale the fourth time around. This wedding stuff, I'm still pretty concerned. <sighs> it's been really hard to plan the wedding because Andrew's really busy. He's working two jobs. So when he comes home, he's very tired. I don't really get much of a chance between cooking and cleaning and taking care of Cade. Hey, watch your claws. You have a 24-hour job. She's the greatest mom in the world. I gotta get ready for work. Here you go, go see mama. This busy couple needs professional help to make sure they actually get down the aisle. I'm here to meet with Ashley and Andrew. They'll have to agree to my terms if they want this wedding to happen. This will be your dream come true. We've postponed it enough times, so it'll be good to finally be married. But there is one condition. You have to hand full control of your wedding day, the location, the menu, the decor, to one of your mothers. <laughs> what? We don't have any say at all. You can choose which mother. One mom will plan her perfect vision of a wedding day for you. Ouch. They even pick your dress. The dress? The dress. I don't know how I feel about this. I think it's great. Less work I have to do. I don't know that I'm OK with that. <laughs> Come on. No stress. Mm. You don't have to worry it's about it. It's a matter of opinion, no stress. <laughs> I don't get to pick anything that's stressful. My oh. own dress. Don't you want to be my wife? <laughs> you cannot play that card. <laughs> it's been played. So, Andrew and Ashley, are you on board? I'm on board. I guess I am too. Great. <laughs> well, let's go get you married. Now it's out of their hands, it's in the mom's hands, and we're just gonna have to see what happens. Bring on the moms. Yes. Ashley's mom, Kim, loves to shop, decorate, and is always on the go. I am assertive, outgoing, <laughs> social. Cheers. Tell us more, <laughs> tell us more. <laughs> I am creative. I have an eye for design, and I love color. I like everything in order. And I like things done my way. If you put a vase there, I'll probably pick it up and move it over there. I'm very picky. <laughs> she likes to get her own way. She's a little bit bossy at times. Kim is pushy. She can be kind of a bulldozer. I know how I want things, and I would like people to do it that way. Andrew's mom, Christine, is traditional, crafty, and likes to stick close to home. I like to spend time with my family. <laughs> I like sewing, baking, and spend time taking my dogs for walks. Porky, come on. Good girl. I'm traditional and just like the simple things in life. Mm, they smell good. My mom, she's old fashioned. Quiet, keeps to herself. I don't like going out much. She's a homebody. I'm pretty laid back, but I do have a temper. My mom's very strong in her beliefs. No, that one's got to go up different. Fine, then. If I put my mind to something and that's what I want, that's what I'm getting. It's the Irish coming out of me. 
The mothers are not exactly on the same page. Christine and I are very different. We're night and day. Kim is high maintenance. Christine's a little bit more plain and traditional. Kim is very go, go, go busy. Hi, how are you? Tomorrow at 3 o'clock, she's a little bit more country and comfortable, and I'm a bit more modern and sophisticated. But what matters now is the big day. I would like it to be fancy and just a lot of nice decorations. Definitely have some drinks and have a good time. Not too many drinks. <laughs> Apparently not too many drinks. Fire and ice. Fairy tale, princess, old fashioned. Modern. Pastel colors. Jewel tones, things that are nice and bright. Yellow in the mint and some pink in there. Food, I don't want anything plain and simple. I want something elegant. Nothing too fancy. Being a cook, the food is very important. Prime rib would be good. Ashley's dress. I think it would be beautiful, form-fitting on the top and flowing out. Very elegant, nothing really frilly. This skirt should be nice and round and poofy on the bottom. Nothing poofy. Ashley will look like a princess because that's what every little girl dreams about doing and having for their special day. With all these ideas flying around, Gina gets everyone together to lay down the rules. Here's the challenge. Over the next two days, I want each mom to plan their ideal vision of the wedding for the bride and groom. Now, they'll only pick one mother's vision. Oh. <laughs> and here's the hitch. The losing mom has to assist the winning mom with planning the entire wedding day. Oh, my. <laughs> what? Mm. You will be working for me. No, no. <laughs> Try again. How are you feeling about this, Ashley? Very nervous. I would like to still remain one family at the end. I just hope there's going to be a doctor in the house. No bloodshed, hopefully. Keep it a clean fight. So what do you say, gang? Are we on board? <laughs> <laughs> All right. May the best mom win. Thank you. Thank you. The moms seem to be having a little quiet cat fight today already. I think we may have a little problem on our hands. Kim. I'm coming after you, and you're going to be my bitch. Christine, you better bring your game, because I'm going to win, and I'm going to work you hard. Coming up with a wedding vision in just 48 hours is going to be the ultimate test for these moms. And whatever vision Ashley and Andrew choose, they're going to have to live with this decision for the rest of their lives. Flowers, bows, glass slippers. Make her feel like a princess for the day. Rich jewel tones, beautiful. What worries me about my mom planning the wedding is it just being completely over the top, flamboyant. Oh, I love peacock feathers. I can do so much with these. Perfect. Good luck, Christine. You're going to need it. White and pink, princess colors. Christine would more like something very old fashioned, a little bit drab. Ah, uh, tool, yes. I'm afraid that when she hears me say that, she might take me out. It'll never go back in the package now. I've seen mom's temper. Don't, don't make her mad. Christine and Kim seem to live on two different ends of the spectrum. I have absolutely no idea what I'm about to see. So sit down and tell me. I see like a fairy tale wedding. Princess, the prince. Sure. My vision, fire and ice. Outside it's cold, inside it's warm. Pastel colors are nice and soft. Purples and the soft pinks. They speak volumes with the wedding. Bright, sparkly colors, jewel tones, peacock feathers, emerald green, sapphires. Beautiful. Every princess needs glass slippers. And then we have a little diamond for sparkle. Of course, her tiara. Her beautiful tiara. Every girl likes a good crown. Oh, yes. For the fairy tale, it's like a gazebo. We can use this, you know, as inspiration, bringing a trellis into the ballroom. That would be nice. And I found this vase to represent ice. It's like a glacier. Mm-hmm. For the bride's cake top, Ashley pulling Andrew to the altar. Poor guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this would kind of reflect icicles when the candles were on them. OK. And instead of a guest book, a picture of Andrew and Ashley, the guests assigned the matting as a keepsake. And I brought some pictures. I lost my son in December. Oh, God. Sorry. Oh, sure. I'm having a really hard time with this today. Oh. 
take your time. And the closer the wedding gets, the worse it's getting. Sure, that's understandable. She could put a picture in her bouquet. And that would make her feel like her brother was with her. And we'll, we'll make this work. We, we will. Oh, thank you. Now it's my job to edit things, and then we'll put the best possible presentation together for Ashley and Andrew. That will be great. I don't know if Ashley and Andrew are going to like either vision. They both need a lot of refining to sort of kick it up a notch. Kim has to be very afraid. Bring it, Christine. Bring it. Ashley and Andrew prepare to judge their mother's wedding visions. How are you doing, guys? Really nervous. You look a little nervous. A little jittery. What the couple don't know is that both their mothers are watching and listening from a secret hiding place. Behind these two screens are the presentations that represent the most important day of your lives. Now you two have to decide which one best represents you. Oh man, I hope they're not mad whoever doesn't get picked. Are you ready to see what your wedding day could be? Definitely ready. Well, let's remove the first screen. Okay. Wow. Wow, that's beautiful. This theme is a fairy tale wedding, mm -hmm. a wedding fit for a princess. Yeah. Very, very pastel y. Lots of pink. They're not looking too impressed. Andrew doesn't do pink. <laughs> Even when they call it salmon, yeah. it's still pink. It's a good thing I love them because otherwise I could disown them now. <laughs> Rather than a guest book, oh, you would have a sign in board. That's really cute glass slippers here that we could fill with some mints. Ashley, you would definitely be in a tiara. Okay. And a veil. And a very, very princess-inspired gown. I don't really think of myself as the princess type, so. Oh, you are. <laughs> are those wings or shoulder pads? Sort of like a shrug, a fur cover. Mm. That would actually be really okay. pretty. We would, of course, honor Adam. He would certainly be part of your day. Mm -hmm. Well, that would be important, definitely. I'm sure. Are you ready to see the next presentation? Definitely. Absolutely. Wow, they're so different. The theme is fire and ice. Bring the warmth inside because it's going to be so cold mm -hmm. outside. The mood, sophisticated, elegant. I'm a little in awe right now. Good or? I'm not sure yet. I think that they're going to pick mine. I love peacock feathers, so that's exciting. We'll see. Ashley, we have your gown. Less poof and just following your silhouette. The bodice would be decorated in crystals. Lots of bling. That on would the be bodice. beautiful. I don't like the centerpiece. Giant twigs. Wow, those are intense. I'm afraid I would get her to poke an eye out or something. Have to get married wearing an eye patch. <laughs> I don't think Andrew's very impressed with anything. We would have a memoriam set up for Adam with both visions, something that would be very special to you, I know. Mm-hmm, definitely. You guys have a lot to talk about. Big time. I'm going to leave you here, discuss, take a look at things, and when I get back, I'll get your decision. All, All right. right. All right, good luck. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. Kim and Christine can no longer eavesdrop while Ashley and Andrew decide whose mom will be the winner. How long are we going to have to wait? This is almost maybe too much. Very. Yeah. I like the simplicity kind of of the other one. I can't get past this. <laughs> and these, like, why do we need giant gemstones everywhere? They're so different. It's hard to even compare. It's just difficult. I don't know. Fairy tale. Gothic. No matter which one you pick. Somebody loses. Someone, someone's <laughs> going to be upset and disown us. I'm really worried. It might hurt their feelings. Or it sucks to say, OK, well, even though you planned all this, we don't want yours. A little nerve wracking. OK, guys, it's time to make your decision. Are you ready? There can only be one. That's right. We did make a choice. Hold it right there. Don't tell me. Tell your moms. <laughs> oh. Ashley and Andrew, what you don't know is that your moms were backstage watching and listening to all of your comments. It's a jerk thing to do. <laughs> but we heard everything. I'm mm -hmm. sure you did. Now it's time for the two of you to tell your moms who you've decided on. Come on. Okay. 
It's not an easy choice for us to make. It's a very tough decision. In the end, we've decided to take Fire and ice. Yes, yes! I won and I'm so excited. We're sorry, we We're wish sorry. we could pick the bow. The only reason being is the pink. <laughs> it's very nerve wracking. It's okay. It's all good. It doesn't look okay. <laughs> you can okay, only Mom. pick one. It's all good. It's okay. Are you sure? Her? Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. You did a beautiful job, but there had to be one winner, one assistant. Fire and Ice took the cake, and Christine, you are to be Kim's assistant. We have a yeah. ton of planning to do. All right. All right? I'm disappointed that uh, they haven't chosen mine, but it's their day, and they deserve to have the wedding they want. I just feel like she cried. It broke my heart to do that to her. I'm the boss, and I hope Christine can pull it together and do as she's told. There could be some fighting. If these two moms don't get on the same page and don't work together well, we're never gonna have a wedding. Nothing is more important to a bride than choosing her own wedding gown. Ashley has given full control of this over to her mother. If Kim doesn't choose wisely, Ashley's big day will be ruined. Okay. All right, you have to go to the change room <laughs> and we're gonna pick out some dresses and we'll meet you there soon. I think that's a bad idea. Uh, Have some faith in idea. us. We've been moms a while. I'm looking for some A-line, a little bit of ruching, and lots of sparkle. Princess, Kim, we want princess. Oh, Christine, drop the princess. It's not what I envisioned her in, and that's not what we're getting. This is more what I'm looking for. Yeah, and that's all right if you're uh, out to catch another husband at your own wedding. Mm -hmm. Ashley is blindfolded. She won't get to see her dress until her wedding day. It's beautiful. No, I don't think so. What do you think, Mom? I love it. We won't let you wear anything gaudy like that. This is awful. It's disconcerting to just stand here blindfolded while someone else picks my dress. <laughs> it's too revealing. No. Yeah. No. I think so. Absolutely not. I know it's got to do with the vision and what I think Ashley wants. Definitely not. It's not quite right, but I mean, we're heading in the right direction. Mm -hmm. I find the neckline is a little bit too high. I think the neckline's fine. I think you're a little prudish. I don't think people should be spilling themselves out on their wedding dress. She wants Ashley covered from head to toe. I don't think that's what Andrew wants. And it's certainly not what Ashley wants. I'd like to see in another one. Oh, that looks beautiful, Ashley. Still not quite the one. No, it's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous on her. Is it, like, just your opinion that counts? Yeah. What happened? She left. My mom is really opinionated, so I wasn't surprised that she kept just shooting down Christine's opinion. Instead of bringing out the fist, it was better to walk away. I don't care if she's mad at me. I'm the person who would really know what is good for Ashley. Christine's just gonna have to suck it up. Wedding planning can't stop for squabbles. Kim insists her assistant Christine stay the course. This is your surprise. We're gonna have a mini makeover. Um, no, 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 no. I don't oh, wanna do on. this. Come on, it'll be fun. That's Kim's thing. She likes to get all prissied up. That's not me. I thought it'd be a really nice day. We get our makeup done, manicure, pedicure. You're gonna love it. I'm just gonna put a little bit of concealer on you. Just look up for me. Christine, you're gonna look beautiful. Hmm. Just with that little bit of glam. So I don't look like I belong on the street somewhere. No, 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 okay. no. A little bit of mascara. Lipstick. Okay. It looks so much better, Christine. Do you wanna take a look? No, Kim, this is not gonna happen. Oh. I can't, I can't go like this. It's not... beautiful. No, I'm sorry. Come on, it's, Christine. No, it's not me. Oh, come on. You look great. And you I should thank drive you for the makeup time. more often. I want her to get spruced up for the wedding, you know, glamorous and classy, and and she just doesn't want to be bothered. It looks beautiful. No, I'm sorry, Kim. It's hurt my feelings that you couldn't even just accept me for who I am. What Kim had done was insulting to me because I don't want to pretend to be somebody that I'm not. Oh, and no. I gotta go wash this off now, okay? That's it. Christine! No. Unbelievable. I'm getting really sick of her attitude. She should be thankful that I'm wanting her to look beautiful instead of like plain Jane. 
Kim can screw off. I'm fed up. With only days left for planning, Christine has to put aside her feelings for the wedding to move forward. So, Kim, what are we doing here? These guys do catering, and I just want to sample some appetizers for the wedding. Yeah. All right, ladies, to start, we have fritelle di bacala, salted cod Atlantic fritters. Mm -hmm. In addition, I have poliposcoli, which is a Mediterranean octopus. I am not touching that. It's very delicious. Is it now? Mm-hmm. Here you go. It's OK. Oh, you're not even making an attempt it here. It stinks. It smells bad. You don't know what you're missing. Oh, yeah, I do. One no. tiny no. little bite. No. We have a beautiful fritura mista aioli from the Mediterranean. Oh, with the uh, merluzzo. <laughs> it's sauce. looking at us. <laughs> Oh, there's an eyeball there. That's like a live animal on frickin' there. Like, what is you, with that? He's not alive anymore. And so here we have a squid ink seafood risotto. Oh, my fun. God. Put the lid back on that. You're really out to kill me, eh? You are being absolutely ridiculous. I don't think I'd absolutely serve this to my ridiculous. dog, never mind anybody at a wedding. Your dog probably has more taste than you do. Yeah. How are you going to be my assistant if you can't even try any of this food? I mean, this is absolutely delicious. You didn't try anything. This food is making me nauseous. She's being a sore loser because her vision wasn't picked. Christine wouldn't even try a thing. What good is that to me? Come on, Christine. You're being a big friggin' baby. You're supposed to be my assistant. I have to keep repeating that to you. You won't try anything at all. No. It's, it's not the food that I would eat, Kim. No. You know, it was my vision, my vision that was picked. I want a nice, elegant affair with good food. She's trying to use the fancy food to impress everybody. It doesn't fool me. This is you being Miss Prissy and all over the top. Christine, you if just you're want not, a big no, fancy no, wedding you and are you're not thinking not of Andrew and Ashley help, at all. Then you might as well go. You're being totally useless to me. Yeah. Enjoy yourself. I'll go. Pisses me off. I hope Kim takes her fancy food and chokes on it or puts it where the sun don't shine because it's not coming to the wedding. She actually needs to do as I tell her to do. And I'm getting tired of wasting my breath. I think we're going to have to give Gina a call because this is not working at all. The moms aren't speaking to each other. I have to make sure this wedding happens, even if it means Kim giving up some control. So I heard from Christine, and yes. I know that she's very unhappy. Likewise. And we have so much more to do, and to have her fall out at this point is just really, it's a travesty. Mm -hmm. Things just can't keep going on the way they're going. So let's try and give Christine two tasks that come from her vision. Oh, my. We can give her control of the first dance, a very ballroom style prince and princess. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that doesn't go with the vision. It would help a lot. What do you think? If I have to? Yes, doesn't mean I'm going to like it. <laughs> There's another thing. Oh, <laughs> OK. <laughs> I know that you're a foodie. Mm -hmm. And the menu is quite exotic. Mm -hmm. You like? quite fancy food. Yes, I do. You can have that for your entrees for the full meal. OK. Could we just put Christine in charge of the hors d'oeuvres? Like, what is she going to pick? <laughs> Hamburgers and french fries? Just a little something more basic, more traditional, that her side of the family and her friends would love. Well, we have to do something to get away from some of the tension that's going on. I would be willing to try. Why don't we bring Christine in? OK. Hi, Christine. How you doing? I'm here. Oh, good. Well, ladies, we're at a standstill. We are. It's not going to work, not the way things are going. Well, Christine, Kim and I have spoken. OK. You're going to have control of two major things. OK. These are tasks that would come directly from your vision. All right. From your princess theme wedding. <laughs> yes. The first thing you're in charge of is the first dance, a ballroom style mm, prince awesome. and princess first dance. It's going to be beautiful. Mm. Your task, you're going to have to teach Andrew and Ashley. Yeah. Second task, you pick the hors d'oeuvres. Oh. Hamburger and french fries. Yeah, yes. probably. Yeah, yeah. Probably. Yeah. At least she won't be bitching about everything if she has something of all her right, own I'll to do. All right, I'll up it. Listen, listen, all up it. I'll go cheeseburgers. No. Oh, cheeseburgers. <laughs> Yay. All right, girls, moving on. Could we make this work? 
All I'll try. Right. I'll try. Let's go plan a wedding. Yeah. Don't get too cozy. Let's go get your dancing shoes on. Yeah. <laughs> I still think this is a huge waste of time. We've got so many things to do to prepare for the wedding. Oh, just and you're relax. Dragging me here. Just relax, and we're going to have an adventurous afternoon. <sighs> I understand that you would like to learn some dancing today uh, for the upcoming wedding. Some uh, of us do. You, some of us do. Oh, okay. <laughs> come on, come on. All right. Twinkle toes. Woo. I'm gonna just put myself between you, okay? Because okay. I, I sense that there's a little bit of uh, animosity. Uh, yeah, that could be it. <laughs> okay. Dancing is like walking, but we're walking to the rhythm of the music. So we're gonna begin with our left foot, and we're gonna walk forward. One and two and one and two. Walk side together. Good. You like to try to lead her in that? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I don't can... think that's going to happen very easily. Now, listen, Kim, you can just suck it up. OK. Being the boss of Kim today was great. Kim got a taste of her own medicine. Slow and quick, quick. It's Hold on. go to the side. Yes. And one more time, walk and walk and side together. And let's take our and turn. Stepping on my feet. Walk, side together, walk and walk. And side together. Very good. Okay, you, we're making some progress. In the shin. <laughs> it was accidentally on purpose. <laughs> yeah, I bet it was. <laughs> what can I say? And quick, quick. Again, walk. Keep it going. Whoop, careful. We're faking our turn a little bit. Yeah, there. she just okay. kind of swung me Why don't around. We come back and try that one more time. <laughs> You're in a ballroom. You don't want to do barnyard dancing. You brought me. She doesn't cooperate with me, but she expects me to cooperate with her. Try that once again. We don't have time for this nonsense. OK, ladies, so it's going to take a little bit more practice, obviously, to get it to work. But I'm sure the kids will enjoy learning these steps that we've worked on today so that they can do a great prince and princess dance at the, mm -hmm. at the wedding. It's going to be great. This is what I want for Andrew and Ashley. It's going to be beautiful. The princess theme doesn't go with the fire and ice at all. Totally ridiculous. And uh, you I guys can help polish I hope she learned her instruction well enough Great. to teach right. them. Christine is supposed to teach them how to do this. She couldn't even do it with me. One last thing with the hands. You want to make sure when you turn out that you create an elegant line and a finish to everything. Ashley and Andrew, they don't know how to ballroom dance. They're not going to learn in a short period of time. They'll just get up there and make fools of themselves. I don't think they're going to be happy about this either. I had a great time. Kim says she didn't, but I could tell by the twinkle in her eye she had a great time, too. We have to go. Christine and I have a wedding to plan. Okay, we have a I lot of things to do. This was just totally ridiculous. Waste of my time. There's been a lot of fighting between the moms. I'm here to check in on Ashley and Andrew. We better not be canceling wedding number four. So you called, and I'm here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's the problem? You go first. The dress is a big issue right now. It's definitely pretty concerned. When we were trying them on, it was just not good. Listening to the moms argue was really hard. No. Yeah. No, absolutely not. Is it, like, just your opinion that counts? Yeah. And Christine stormed out, which was obviously pretty upsetting. And I know that has to be the hardest thing, mm -hmm. so let me work on that. I don't like seeing my mother cry or get upset. Of course, no one wants her to be upset. No. The rules of the game are one wedding planner, one assistant, but I've spoken with both moms. They're trying to get along. It's going to be all right. Hang in. Thanks, Gina. I told them that everything was going to be OK, but in my head, I'm thinking, how am I going to make this right? But there's still more to come. The weather is really, really bad, and we are in disaster mode. The uh, highway is completely shut down. The decorator is still not here. Nothing is going right today. They're counting on me. This is the biggest day of their lives. We need to get this whole room transformed. A snowstorm begins, and Kim battles the weather to arrive at the venue, the Churchill Ballroom. Hi, Kim. How are you? Hi, Gina. What's going on? It doesn't look like a church in here. No, I know. And I didn't like, want you to nothing, see it. There's nothing in here. But I thought more would be done. Yes, well, the decorator is actually on the highway stuck. Like, we're running out of time. Ladies. Hey, how are you? Oh, you finally made it. Oh, yeah, that's pretty horrendous out there. You're right behind me. Yeah, I got stuck behind a plow. Oh. It's bad out there. Oh, it is. How's the ballroom dancing coming? Oh. oh. Hmm. Not good. I haven't been able to get down to Andrew and Ashley. I'm, this is part on. of your theme. I understand, and you want but to teach the weather, them how to I, dance. what do you want me to do, a snowshoe? I can't snowshoe. Well, I mean, so you've far. had time. No, I haven't. No, well, then you I, I have made work. time. 
it's in the program. It's printed in the program that they're gonna have this dance. So I think that that's something that's very necessary. We have 15 minutes at least before the rehearsal starts. Ashley and Andrew are in the hall. Why don't we get out there and why don't we get them rehearsing and doing some sort of ballroom dancing and see if we can get something together. I'm really disappointed in you. Well, it's not the I limbo. I thought you would have had something done with this. The dance, beyond ridiculous. It's awful. Christine is trying to show Ashley and Andrew some steps now, but I mean, at this 11th hour, I don't know if that will even happen. This way to you. Oh, good. Oh, relax. Wow. Deep breath. Come on. I can breathe, Mama. I can't dance. And pivot. I don't get the pivot. You don't get the pivot. Well, I just don't wear my pivoting to. You're like, turning I so you can go in a different direction. Back your way and over. That's See? it? That's it. Well, that, is that, the, it? that is the lamest dance I've ever seen. You're like wiggling. Well, I'm One. not wiggling. I'm just stepping. Well, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> <laughs> Three steps back, three steps sideways, back step, pivot. I don't even know what you're doing. Like, there are so many steps. We have 10 okay. minutes. Well, Ashley, this isn't my fault. Yeah. This is part of Christine's vision, and I just don't think we have time to do this right now. Like, there's so much going on, I can't see this happening. Hey. I think it's better that we just go practice on our own. OK, so it's three steps. Or do you, we'll just do whatever you learned. I don't even All care. All right, so this is, what I I, this is what I was showing. You go back. You go back. Oh, like what are you and doing then to me I here? Come back, and then we go like that, and then and I that... spin you. We learned two completely different dances. That's what dances. I thought I heard going on. We don't know what we're doing. No, you, you got shown a different dance than I got shown. Like this is. Well, let's I'm... just pick a dance. We'll pick which Mosh dance pit. we like. Sweet. While the bride and groom to be keep practicing, Gina leads the wedding rehearsal. Tomorrow you'll be holding your bouquets, of course. So. That's perfect. Straight down the aisle. Ashley and Andrew will be right in the center then. And Michael will escort Ashley. That gives us plenty of room. Blink arms after the bride and groom come down. And straight out. You got it. Good job, guys. Ashley and Andrew join their guests at the rehearsal party. I'd like to thank everybody for coming tonight. And hopefully the weather clears up so we'll have a bunch of people here tomorrow. Cheers. 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 <laughs> Gina gets a call. The news is not good. Ashley, I'm so sorry I had to pull you aside. We just got a call from Nikki, your bridesmaid. Mm -hmm. Her flight was canceled. And it doesn't look like she's going to be able to make it tomorrow. What? I can't believe she's going to miss the entire ceremony and everything. It doesn't look good. <sighs> Hopefully this is the worst of it and everybody else will make it, all right? I hope so. Okay. All right, Gina. Go ahead. Go back and enjoy yourself, all right? Ashley's really stressed. I wanted this day to be perfect for her. Absolutely perfect. I don't know if it's going to happen. The night before the wedding, uh, the snowstorm, I'm a little worried that some of my, mm -hmm. our friends and family won't be able to make it. We already me. lost a bridesmaid, so. I'm hoping that a lot of people can make it because it's kind of scary out there. It's supposed to be the happiest day of our lives, but it's turning out to be a giant pile of poo. Even if I pull this together, I don't know if everyone is even going to be able to come. The decorators finally arrive, but now there's only hours to get everything done. I just don't know how we're going to pull this off. How many of these do we have? Uh, one. OK, one down. Ten more to go. We need to get this whole room transformed. I just don't know how we're going to pull this off. I'm worried. Ashley's with her mother getting ready. She will finally get to see her wedding dress. Ashley, you ready to see your dress? Yes. <laughs> OK, keep your eyes closed. One, two, three. Oh my God. Do you like it? It's do you awesome. love it? I actually do love it. You did a good job. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm impressed. It's what you wanted. It's yes. A line. It is satin. Yeah. All the beadwork, look at on the sides. Oh, wow. It goes eh? down, it's all gathered. That's beautiful. And then we have some on this side here. Look, down here with oh, the pretty. gathering. Oh, yeah, I didn't even notice that. Isn't that beautiful? That is really nice. Thanks. You look so gorgeous. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> This is my favorite spot. Yeah, I think that's really the cute. Half bowl it's just with a all fun the little, yeah, it's a really fun detail. I think you did an awesome job. I'm actually a little surprised. <laughs> I'm excited to see the bouquet. 
That's gorgeous. It goes with the theme. That's really awesome. I love it. It's girly, but it's cool. Like, it's a good kind of, it's not like frou-frou. It's just really interesting, and I love the flowers in it. That's gorgeous. We have a little special edition mm -hmm. added. And to memorialize my brother Adam. So Adam can be with you today, too. Hmm, don't be sad. And this way he can walk down the aisle with you. Mm-hmm. Thank you. You okay? Mm-hmm. Do you love it? I love it. Mm. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. We're gonna go get you married. <laughs> The snow has not let up. The wedding starts in five minutes, but none of the guests are here. Hi, Gina. Hey. This is amazing. I have a surprise for you. Oh, do you? Your ice sculpture. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. I can't believe you pulled it uh, off. It just got here. I just hope the guests arrive to see all this because it's absolutely spectacular. I'm going to get changed, finish a few things. I'll see Thanks you in a few. Thanks so much. It's I'm, still storming. I know, out. I'm really getting worried. Yeah. The plows have cleared the roads, and guests finally start to show an hour late. Good news, girls. Hey. The guests are here. Oh, thank uh, you. That's great. Yeah, you grab that's Ashley. Great. You grab Andrew. I'll grab the minister. Okay. Let's okay, go. Perfect. Let's Thanks. get married. We, as a community of family and friends, are gathered here to witness the marriage of Andrew and Ashley and to celebrate this day with them. Andrew, will you have Ashley to be your wife? I do. Ashley, will you have Andrew to be your husband? I will. Ashley Penrose, you're the only one that truly knows me, and I vow to always be faithful and respectful to you. I will always love and cherish you. I am so honored that you are going to be my wife, and that we are going to grow old together. Andrew, you're sweet, loving, funny, and a great dad. You're my best friend and proof that first impressions are not to be trusted. You've brought out the best in me as a mother, a friend, and as a person. <laughs> I vow to love you and never take your love for granted and to continue facing life by your side, whatever gets thrown our way, for as long as we both shall live. With every thought in my mind, with every breath in my lungs, with every beat of my heart, I'm yours. I love you. you just show me up. <laughs> I declare them now to be husband and wife. If you two would like to kiss each other for the first time, you may. <laughs> They look beautiful, they live together. With the ceremony done, the guests mingle at the cocktail reception. I can't believe we're finally married. Tricky. <laughs> Forever. I just want to take these damn shoes off, but I love them so much. Featuring Christine's choice of appetizers. Oh, my kids are here. You're going you to don't need really two want hands. to eat these. I do. Look, I'll even have one with you. One bite. One. Go. <laughs> they're great. I have to admit, they're not too bad. <laughs> We're going to wing this. That's right. We want to thank the moms for putting in so much hard work saving us a lot of time, a lot of effort, that time we didn't really have with the and baby and everything. work I didn't want to do. That's exactly <laughs> I don't think this could have happened without both of you, so we really appreciate it, and we love you both. We love you, too. <laughs> Cheers to our moms. Without your attention, please, all the dance floor, 
some ballroom dancing that we don't know how to do. That they don't know how to do. <laughs> and we're going to cheer them on the whole way while they have fun. The newlyweds try out the newly learned foxtrot for their first dance. We don't know what we're doing. How about if we just go like this? Oh. All right, stepping dress. all over your dress. Didn't get a lot of time to practice with them, but even if they have two left feet, it's beautiful. I'm no Broadway dancer, but they, we tried our best. It probably wasn't very good, <laughs> but we don't care. <laughs> It wasn't the best dance of a foxtrot. That was terrible. <laughs> Andrew and Ashley were gorgeous no matter what they did with their feet, so it was great. And we all had fun. And we all had yeah. fun. <laughs> First fire and ice wedding, I think it went really well. Ashley and Andrew seemed thrilled with everything. We had an amazing wedding, for sure. It was awesome. Amazing. When I first saw Ashley walking up the aisle, I was shocked. Because you're just so beautiful. <laughs> you're cute. I was happy with the picture of my brother on the bouquet. I felt like it was a tasteful way of memorializing him without making it overshadow the rest of the day. Earlier, we were pretty worried because there weren't really any guests here. Oh, I was concerned about people not showing up and the weather and everything. I probably would have cried. Then everybody just started showing up. It was great. The flowers and the decor came in the 11th hour, so that was super, super stressful. I didn't think Gina was going to be able to pull it off. Last night, there was nothing, and this morning, it was spectacular. You couldn't ask for anything better. Gina did a beautiful job. Yeah, and it was exactly what I dreamed about. When I first saw the decor, I thought it was amazing. I absolutely love it. It's beautiful and really sparkly and gorgeous, but not super traditional. I was extremely happy that the twigs weren't extremely large, and my friends haven't sword fighted with them yet. The ice sculpture came at the very last minute. I thought it was glass. No, this is the theme, Andrew, the fire and ice. Fire, ice. Yeah. The dinner was delicious. I was excited. The guests seemed to really enjoy it. It really turned out to be a beautiful day. And Christine actually went and got her hair done and got her makeup done. She looked beautiful. Everything's great. Kim and I made up. We're doing good now. We're doing excellent. About time. <laughs> the moms did an amazing job. I'm so I'm happy. Impressed. It all came together, so. And you're married. This is the greatest day we could have ever asked for. All in all, a great success. We had a great time. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> the fun part begins. <laughs> <laughs> Meet Crystalline and Jin. They're going to have to deal with Gina's little twist. You have to hand full control of your wedding day to one of your mothers. This can turn out really bad. If you don't want to know honestly what I think, please don't ask me. No one can push Surinder around. Will this be the wedding of their dreams or a total nightmare? Never going to get this opportunity again. This is horrible. So may the best mom win. Crystalline and Jin are competitive, and at 23, eager to move forward, but they can't actually agree on anything. Jin and I met at the gym. I was actually working out, and uh, apparently I wasn't doing the machine properly. When I see people doing equipment ineffectively, I come around and I tell them. Oh, your size, your size. That's it. Jin was definitely hitting on me that day at the gym. It's not flirting, it's called being a personal trainer. I don't know why he denies it. All I was trying to do is just do my job, and then you ended up hitting on me. Uh, I'll have you know, it was only several <laughs> weeks after we were talking to each other, barely dating, when he told me he wanted to marry me. From the second that we kind of hit off and we started going out with each other, it was almost immediate, like our connection was very strong. Mm. The things I love about Crystalyn is uh, she's always there for people, and she's very caring and loving and compassionate. I love that he's able to deal with me. <laughs> uh, I proposed to Crystalyn on her birthday. She had no reaction whatsoever. I asked her if she'd marry me. She kind of looked at me and looked away and like kind of put her head down. I thought that meant no. 
so. I didn't even answer him. I was so shocked. I was just like, okay, is this my ring? And I put it on and started taking pictures, and <laughs> that was it. I just was so, did not expect it at all. I think the most important thing for us to get married is now we can have kids at any time. We can definitely go over everything in detail on Friday. I would say it's going to take about an hour. Crystalline is a financial planner with a hectic schedule. I am extremely ambitious. Every day I have a list of things I want to do before I go to bed. I have a list of things I want to complete by the end of the week, by the end of the month, by the end of the year, and everything has to be done. I don't want to do this anymore. What a surprise I'll do it by myself. Well, I'm a personal trainer. I try to keep myself very healthy. You're eating again? Obviously. I tend to eat anywhere from four to six times a day. It's a very time consuming thing. It's almost like a, like another job. I hope you're ready to kick some butt because we're having a really tough day tomorrow. It's legs day, muscular endurance. With demanding schedules and back-to-back -back workouts. Did you clean up the garage? Right now's not a good time. Well, and right now's never a good time. This couple's plate is full. They need professional help to get down the aisle. I'm here to meet with Crystal and Jin. I can make their wedding happen, but they have to agree to my terms. So congratulations on your engagement. Thank you. Thank you. Right. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. I hear that you haven't had time to tie the knot. Well, I'm here to help. Cool. There is one condition. You have to hand full control of your wedding day. The dress, the location, the flowers, the menu, to one of your mothers. Mm. Wow. <laughs> My, like, suit and everything I'm going to be wearing at the reception. I can't choose that out? No. I can't even see it? No. When I'm dressed up, I gotta be fly. I gotta, it's, it's gotta be popping. Both moms are gonna present their perfect ideas for a wedding, and then you would get to pick. Um, this can turn out really bad. You do know you do know this, right? Especially if your mom does it. I think my mom would do a lot better than your mom. I think it would be good because we're so busy, and it would take a lot of stress off of us. I think this is good. I like <sighs> it. Okay, okay, so you're on board? Yes. Yes. I guess so. <laughs> Okay, let's go get you married. All right. Okay. Introducing the moms. Jin's mother, Surinder, is a traditional Indian woman who believes strongly in her culture and its customs. Cooking and making nice meal for my family is the happiest moment of my life. Here we go. My marriage is the arranged marriage, and I love my husband. Rasmala is good. My father is the commander in Indian Army, so he has strict rules. I was also strict yeah, with the kids. I want them under rules and regulations to listen to me carefully. She's very traditional. What traditional Indian moms do is they put their family before before themselves. You're my most loving woman. <laughs> loving woman. I love you. I love you too. Jin's mom gets things accomplished by making you feel guilty. I will stand up for myself, for my family, and for my culture. No one can push Surinder around. Crystalline's mom, Kelly, is a strong-willed, small-town gospel singer. Choose to smile when someone walks by. I'm free-spirited, kind-hearted, very giving, and I'm always thinking about other people. I'm a PK kid, so that means a preacher's kid. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. It doesn't mean I was a good kid. Kelly shocked her God-fearing folks when she chose her husband. I am married to a Sikh, and that wasn't too agreeable with my parents. The two cultures, they're both very different. It was really tough, but I've been almost 25 years married, so I think I've proven them wrong. My mom knows what she wants. She is very intimidating. I definitely don't ever like to disappoint my mom. If she wants me to do something, I'll usually just do it just to please her. Oh, mother. Not old mother. She's a very opinionated person, uh, kind of like how Crystal is. If she wants something, <laughs> it's going to be just how she wants it. So now you see the right way is to be with me, right? I can All you. right. <laughs> Love you. If you don't want to know honestly what I think, please don't ask me. These moms don't see eye to eye. Kelly and me are from two different cultures. Surrender's a traditional Indian lady. I'm more contemporary. I am always home with my family. I tour quite a bit across the States and Canada. Kelly is never home with her family. I don't know what she does. I've heard that Surrender's got a temper. I can have one too. Uh, Kelly is very bossy. Crystal and Jen, they both want to stay on my good side. I am a little bit afraid of her. The big day is what's really in question. I don't want it to be pure Indian or 
pure Christian, I'd like to have a nice compromise between each other that makes us happy. Well, I'd like my wedding to be simple. By simple, I mean like, um, I just wanted to get down to the point. My vision for the wedding for my daughter, Crystalyn, is heavenly. A winter wonderland effect. My vision for the perfect wedding is beautiful, colorful. We can have white, we can have silver. Bollywood wedding, yeah. Maybe splash it with a bit of pink. Gold, purple. I do not want to see any bright, funky colors. Only the Sikh ceremony. If they want me there, I've told them it's going to have to be the Christian ceremony. So I don't want to see uh, Christine in white dress, at, not at all. It needs to be a white dress. Should be Indian wedding in Lenga. I don't want to have just pure Indian food at the wedding. Indian food and Indian snacks and Indian deserts? No way. There is clearly a need for Gina to lay down some rules. Over the next two days, I want each mom to plan their ideal vision for a wedding. Now only one mom's vision will be chosen. And the losing mom has to assist the winning mom with organizing the entire day. This is not what you guys told me. Truthfully, I was very angry inside. I didn't want to show it in front of the kids and that. I, I will be the winner, yeah. You will be the winner? Yeah. Do you really think you're going to win? Yeah. You've got to be kidding me. If I have to be Surrender's assistant, uh, I don't think I can do it. I might have to walk away from all of this. Crystalyn, are you OK? Yeah. As long as Surrender is willing to do what my mom says, we're good. I'm pretty <laughs> sure my mom is going to win. It looks like we've got a fight on our hands. Don't mess with me, Kelly. OK, so we're all on board, all yeah. four of us. Yeah. Well, may the best mom win. <laughs> two moms, two cultures, two visions. I don't see how this is going to work. Surrender, you should prepare for a war. I may look small and sweet, but I will be the boss in this wedding. Coming up with an inspired wedding vision in just 48 hours is going to be the ultimate test for these moms. And whatever vision Crystal and Jin choose, they're going to have to live with it for the rest of their lives. If my mom plans the wedding, I am concerned that uh, she might not take into consideration how modern we are and things like the decor. She might do it a bit more in her taste. Mmm, so delicate too. Just gorgeous. These are really pretty. I actually don't like flowers. I'm hoping not to have tons of flowers everywhere. Every girl likes flowers, don't you? Can I help you with anything? I'm looking for uh, centerpieces for my daughter's wedding. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm looking for something white, okay. heavenly, pure. OK. I don't want anything old and grubby. How about this one? This looks like it would be from a grandma, not from a daughter. OK. How about the lisianthus sprays? Oh, these are beautiful, but it's too much green. White flowers is definitely what I see. I want it heavenly. I want it pure. My daughter is not a heavenly child, and I want her to be heavenly for one day, please. How about this one? Uh, that looks very nice. I really like that. I like the pureness of it. There's no greenery in it. Uh -huh. Looks like it would fit in heaven, maybe, eh? So looks I am very confident about my presentation, and I'm very confident I'm going to win because I believe mine has more elegance and more romance to it. My biggest uh, worry with Crystal's mom planning the wedding is uh, she's just not as familiar with my culture as I am and my mom is. Would you like it, honey? Help with anything? Yeah, I want to take these three. Okay. Yeah. To pick, huh? Thank you. You're welcome. It looks good to my eyes and heart. These are beautiful. If Surrender plans the wedding, I feel that she's not going to care at all what I want to happen at my own wedding. Everything will be completely traditional Indian. She's not going to want anything different. My son Manjinder will look very handsome yeah. in this. Yes, yeah. Of course. Sure. Can you show me that orange one too? This one right here? Yeah. These are be beautiful. Yes, they are. Yeah, you have some bindis? Uh, bindis? Yes, yeah. sure. Some of our bindis right here. I it's, like this color. It's a very nice color. I feel confident uh, that she, I bought the things for the crystalline, and she will sure like it. I am very, very happy. Time's up. The moms have to show their stuff. Two very different ladies, and I'm pretty sure two very different presentations. Hi, 
Kelly. Hi, Gina. Have a seat. Okay, thank you. Why don't you tell me about the vision? All the bright colors. Heaven. Indie music and spicy food. Winter wonderland effect. So this is the coconut. This is a good sign of happiness. And these are my favorite glasses. What do you see Crystal in wearing? White and flowing. I have these all the bright. Oh, I love this. This fabric I will use for like in Indian wedding lenga and in the evening purple color. This is something I wish her to be, an absolute angel. What were you thinking of as far as the location goes? Like a castle. In a grand hotel. Between 400 and 500 people. Wow, a big reception. Some more bling. Here is the box to put Indian sweets in there uh, to give to the bride and groom. This for the decoration. And these would be hung Hanging. in the room? The room, yeah. Oh, beautiful. A little angel for my heavenly theme. You really want the room to sparkle. <laughs> this tray is for the ladoos and Indian sweet. We pass them around giving the guests to eat. And I'm thinking this is a high centerpiece? Yes, it really caught my attention when I saw it. Eye level is completely see-through. I think that's really smart. These are bindis. She shows the people that this lady is, is no more single. She's married now. Well, you have some beautiful pieces. Yeah. I'm going to hold on to these, okay. and we'll put together a presentation for Crystal and Jen. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heavenly Winter Wonderland or Bollywood Glam? I don't know if Crystal and Jen are going to go for either pitch. This is going to be a tough one. Kelly, my vision is the brightest and the best. Good luck to you, because you're going to need it. It's time for Crystalline and Jin to see Gina's presentation of their mom's visions for the big day. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. Are you excited? We're very excited. What the couple don't know is that their mothers are watching and listening from a secret location. Behind these screens are the presentations that represent the most important day of your lives. You have to decide which one best represents you. But remember, you'll also be choosing a mom. Are you ready to see the first presentation? I think we are. I'm ready. Oh, wow. Uh... This is a heavenly winter wonderland. Wow. Lots of white, tons of crystal, with hints of a dusty sort of lavender and an ice blue. Very different than what I expected, but it's still very nice. It's a lot of crystals. Crystalline, this would be your gown. Very full, princess, very angelic. Very nice. I mean, I look good in anything, so... This would be a sample of your high centerpiece. That's amazing. That's my girl. It looks okay, kind of much. Really big. How are you supposed to eat with that thing around you? You're gonna hit your head into it. You're too much, Jin. I really like the purple. It looks gorgeous. It's all over the top for me. So are you ready to see the second presentation? Yes. Yes, I am. Wow. Wow, nice. look at the linga. That's more like it. <laughs> he likes it. Yes. Mm -hmm. You probably told him to like it, didn't you? No, he already liked it. So here we have Bollywood glam. Tons and tons of bright color, spiciness. <laughs> lots and lots of beading. Lots of embroidery, lots of jewels. I definitely think the bangles will look really good on you, that's for sure. The richest red roses. I think roses would be quite simple for a centerpiece. I think the roses are good. I mean, they're not too much. They're not over the top. My son really likes the roses. Yeah. Your roses? Yeah. A little bit of colored glass for the champagne flutes. Really nice. We have the box of sweet cakes. I love the langa. It's gorgeous. I definitely love my shawani. I imagine that looking real fly on me. I really like the colors, um, the embroidery and everything like that, and patterns, very vibrant. There's a lot of colors mixed, though, like the pink and the red, and I'm not sure it all matches. It's nice and clean, you know, elegant. That's more like it. He likes Bengals, he likes Indian Langas. I think your son just doesn't like me. So I'm going to leave you two to discuss, and when I come back, you'll give me your decision. OK. Sounds good. Wow. Yeah. That's it? And that's it? Kelly and Surinder are cut off from spying, while Crystalline and Jin have to decide who will get to plan their wedding. So you're nervous? A mm, little bit. A little bit? A little bit. Well, when we look at this here, there's a lot of white. I have a little bit of a problem with that. 
I don't know what's going on there. This is gorgeous. These colors are amazing. I think it looks really elegant. Mm, I no, I wouldn't say elegant. I'd say it's a little bit too much. If we go look over here. Is this really what you want as our centerpiece? That's so simple. <clears throat> the roses are beautiful. I mean, that's elegance. Uh, that centerpiece, it's too much. Way too much, too poofy. I don't know, this seems too simple, too traditional. The only thing I like on this side is the linga. <sighs> traditional side, I think it looks good. I like it. This is one of the biggest decisions we have to make. We have to live with this. We do, what do you think? I don't know, I made a decision. I'm just worried about telling them. I don't want to tell them. I don't want them to cry. I think I'll be the bearer of bad news here. I'll do it, I'll be good at it. I don't know how good you'll be at that. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Have you made your decision? We have, it was very hard. Very difficult. Don't tell me, tell your mothers. <gasps> oh. oh. <laughs> Crystal and Jin, your moms have been backstage listening to all of your comments. Oh man, that's and crazy. You should be sorry. And now it's time to tell them your decision. Ah, oh, this is a tough one. Well, <laughs> this is hard for both of us to make, to make this decision. Um, I just want to let both of you know that we really think that both of them are really nice. But unfortunately, there has to be one winner and one loser. I'm sweating, Sorry. waiting. So, Kelly? We will be going with your vision. Oh, oh my god, I am a loser. No, you're not a loser. You're my assistant oh, now. Okay. I'm so excited. I get to plan my daughter's wedding. Everything's gonna be fabulous. I thought that my mom's presentation was very nice. It was very elegant. You'll be the best assistant ever. Okay. Personally, I really wanted to pick my mom's, but uh, it just didn't happen that way because I want to make her happy. As long as she's happy, everyone's gonna be happy. Kelly, congratulations. Thank you, Gina. Surrender, you're going to be Kelly's assistant. But I am very disappointed. I really don't like the ideas of being assistant. I want to become a boss. Working together with Surrender, it's gonna be fabulous because I'm in charge. My mom might be quiet sometimes and she might not really seem like she'll stick up for herself, but believe me, I, uh, I've been around her enough and I know she's not taking uh, anything from anyone. Okay, so let the in-law wedding wars begin. Okay. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Surrender seemed all smiles. They're the ones sometimes you have to watch. I think that there's no compromise necessarily in Kelly's world. I think it's just gonna be this is her vision, this is her way. Game on. It's time for Kelly and Surrender to pick wedding favors. First thing I see is this tree here. No, Kelly, Come on. this is, this this is, is too so, white. This is so no. nice. White is heavenly, it's angelic. You should see some of the stuff down here. It's lots of white stuff in that. Surrender, what are you doing? You're my assistant. You're supposed to be helping me. Oh, look at the candles. Oh, white. Beautiful, no? Even some white stars. Yeah, but uh, you select everything white. No But colors. I thought I'm the boss, no? You are the boss, but I, is, there should be some colors because it's a wedding. Okay, but I think I have ultimate calls, so I like these. I have told Surrender so many times now that the wedding is white. The color scheme is white. Those, okay. no, okay. no. Okay, you just push the cart and you just listen to me, okay? Please, okay. thank you. Okay, not really good time with uh, Kelly because she's a little bossy today. So heavenly looking. This isn't too bad, it's a nice star. What do you think, Surin Surrender? Surrender is supposed to be here as my assistant to make things easier for me, not harder. Red, pink, Surrender, like what have you been doing? Like honestly, you're wasting so much no, time these are here. Beautiful colors. Look, they're, they're beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. for you, but not for the wedding. It just okay. doesn't work. If she get mad, I will be a little mad at her too because I am the groom's mother. Determined to stay on track, the moms keep their appointment to visit Kelly's church, her dream venue. 
we were in my home church where I raised my daughter, and it's my father's the minister here, and it's where I really desire for my daughter to get married. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Isn't it beautiful? It's, it's beautiful, but it's uh, not fit for the people. Everybody can sit here. Somehow we'll do it. No, I don't think so. It is too small. We can do an overflow. We just put the TVs downstairs with the monitors, and we mm. they can watch from downstairs on TV. No, in the basement? Ah, uh, yeah. No. It, I mean, look, no. it doesn't look nice in the basement. What do you mean it doesn't look the nice? They're still here. The They're still going to be here with them. I want everybody to be sit on the same floor. I'm the mother of the bride, and I get to choose what I want for my daughter. And it's a Christian ceremony in my church. I think I will bid for you in the car. What do you mean? Surrender, seriously. I am really angry with Kelly. She brought me here to show the church for the wedding. But I don't like it because it's too small for the people to fit. And she's telling me that half the people will sit upstairs and the half will go downstairs in the basement. I don't like that. I'm pretty sure the agreement was one of us won and I am the winner. So don't be a sore loser. <laughs> Tensions are high, but there's no time to quit. Nothing is more important to a bride than choosing her own wedding gown. Crystalline has agreed to give over full control to her mother. If Kelly doesn't choose wisely, <laughs> Crystalline's entire wedding day will be ruined. Nice and poofy, nice and flowy. No, oh, they're all white. Oh, look at the train. It's just beautiful. Mm. Like this one? Mm. No. Oh, this is so simple, Kelly. Mm. No. What about this one here? Mm. No. What do you mean no? I don't, I don't like Kelly. I don't like any of them. Surrender? No. Uh, surrender's uh, really being a hindrance to me. She really is. I don't like it because it is in a white color. White is, uh, in our Indian culture, a sign of uh, sadness. Crystalline won't see her dress until her wedding day. She has to trust her mother to choose the right one. I need my dress to fit me perfectly. I'm working out. I want to look really good on my wedding day. This is so frustrating for me. Okay. Do you like it, Mom? Yeah, it's nice. So pretty. It doesn't feel like there's, like, very much detail on here. Just, you know? What do you think, Mom? Mm, no, I don't like it. All right, let's see another one, hon. I think this is really nice and beautiful on you, but it's not the one yet. Jin's mom, what do you think of the dress? I don't like it. Why not? It's uh, very simple and it is in white. She keeps telling me, I don't like white. I don't like white. She's got to wear her white dress for her wedding day. I mean, I really want it that way. I want my uh, daughter-in-law in a red, bright lenga. Uh, well, I don't like red. How's that? Is that fair now? I don't care if she gets mad. She should have respect for, for my opinion, too. <laughs> this is the one. Oh, my god, it's just so beautiful. Okay. Absolutely stunning. To me, that's just perfect. It looks so elegant. Can you tell me she does not look like a princess in this dress? I am sorry, Crystalline, I don't like this dress. Can somebody just please make up their mind? I've made up my mind that this is the dress. I need you guys to agree this is my day. I want both of you guys to be happy or I'm not going to be happy. No, sorry, Kelly, I don't like it. This is like once in a lifetime thing that my daughter's going to have, you know? Yeah. And I'm never going to get this opportunity again. Oh, I am sorry. Mom, this isn't fair. This isn't your wedding. It's my wedding. You're ruining my day for me. I don't even know what to say to you. I'm so uptight inside. I feel so hot, so flustered. I just want to leave. I just really want to go home and calm down right now. Where did my mom go? Mm. Why can't you guys just get along? Why can't you pick something you both like? This isn't fair. I can't even see my dress. This is horrible. Like, I don't know how I'm going to go home and sleep properly. Like, I'm going to be up all night thinking about this. I don't know how this is going to work out. Can you help me get out of this dress, please? I don't care. I want Crystalline to wear Lenga because she's now my daughter, not Kelly's daughter anymore. I'm here to meet with Crystalline and Jin. They better not be having second thoughts. Hey. Hi. How are you? Good to see you again. Jeez, you're both here. Uh, <laughs> yes, it is good to see you. What's going on? We just don't know what's going on right now. Like, everything from the venue to the dresses, and just like our mothers are not getting along, and... So with the dress, what was the problem? My mom left when we were trying on the dresses. There was one dress that she loved, and she was so happy, but Jin's mom doesn't like anything. She just kept saying they're white, she didn't want me to wear it, she wants me to wear a langa. They're not agreeing on anything. 
Jin, how's your mom doing? She's really upset. She's called me a couple times, and she just she doesn't like the way that things are turning out right now. Okay. And she feels like the church is just going to be way too like claustrophobic for people. We've got to have a bigger place. My mom really likes that church. We've been going there for a long time, but there's not enough space for everybody, so. It's just way too small. We've got so many guests. I've got so many people in my family. It's just not realistic. I want everyone to be happy, and right now we're not happy. I think that what I should do is get your two moms together. So let me go. Let me touch base with them, and if you hear any anything at all from either mom, why don't you give me a call? Is okay, that okay, Gina, thanks. We really need your help. I'm not even going to take my coat off. I'm just going to leave. I have too much to do, okay, all right? Thanks. I will call you. Okay. All right, okay. Thanks, okay. Bye. I have to take off my wedding planner hat. I have to put on my referee hat because these women are fighting. There's some major stuff going on here. I don't know if the kids are going to be able to get married. Hey, Kelly. Hi. How you doing? All right. Oh, hi, Surrender. How are you? I'm fine. Good. Thank Come on. Stand over here. We have to talk. This is crazy. You're not getting along at all. This wedding is never going to happen. I came up with two things that I think you're going to be OK with. I hope that you're going to be OK with, because as far as I can see, it's the only way we're going to move on. First off, Kelly, the ceremony has to be in a venue, a huge hall that would be able to accommodate all of your guests comfortably. Still have your dad come and officiate it. We could make it very church-like. Um, I could think about that. I would, I'd be open to thinking about it, at least. And would that make you happier? Yeah. The other thing, I understand that you want to see Crystalline in a traditional white wedding gown. Yeah. I completely agree with you. Well, we're here today at a place that sells langas. I think that you girls should go in, choose a traditional langa for Crystalline to wear at the reception. Are you trying to side with her now? Because last time I saw you, I'm pretty sure you told me I was the boss of this. We're compromising just a bit to move forward. This is not panning out any way what I had planned. They have some beautiful pieces in there. See if you can find something. Will you do this for me? No, I'm going to try, Gina, but you know, I'm not keen on this at all. Just go look at a few things, OK? okay. Thank you, Gina. OK. They did not go in there happy. They did not go in there smiling. I have no idea what's going to happen. Look, look at the fabric. Oh, look here. This is so beautiful and nice. I like this because it will be where it is bright color, red color, and it will look very good on crystalline. These are all different, beautiful Surrender. colors. Surrender. I'm not saying they're not beautiful. They are, they are beautiful. beautiful. Look, the embroidery. I love it. Look here. It's so beautiful. What do you think, Kelly? This is beautiful. It's a beautiful this color. Is beautiful Everything color. it is pretty. Yeah. Somebody's really done a wonderful job putting this all together. Yeah. Yeah. It's very, very tedious. Very, I mean. very, yeah. Why not you help me finding one langa for the reception, Kelly? You know what? I'm, I'm going to help you pick the langa just because I promised Gina that I would try, and I will try it. Thank you. All right. Thank you. I'm doing this for Surrender and Crystalline and Jen, and I'm really hoping to keep them all happy. That one day is the most important day of my daughter's life, and I want to have a lot of peace that day. Yesterday was a bad day for me, but today I feel much better, and I, I am happy today. I think right now I'm showing her what a good assistant is. Now I get a, ch a chance to become a boss. But it's not done yet. With time running out, Gina meets with Kelly to show her the venue. Gina, I'm worried. I'm really worried. Really worried. Now, I know it's not a church, but please keep an open mind. Are, are you really looking into my vision? Are you seeing my vision? I don't, I don't see it at all. You just have to really erase all of this and understand that your vision, it's going to be in here. Do you like the space? Give me a chance to do what I do. Come on. Now, just look. I mean, the space is beautiful. The walls are warm. The chandeliers will be a lot lower. The bridal party could come in that way. It's so dramatic this way. This whole front and altar. It's, it's not going to look like a church. It's going to be like this great big open space. You've got all these tables. You're going to stick some chairs in here. I mean, it's, it's a sacred day. Trust me. I know what you want it to look like. I don't know, Gina. What is really the issue? I can't see my dad coming in to a hall to officiate my daughter's ceremony. I, I don't think he'll come in here and do it. I really don't. If you get your father here on the wedding day, I guarantee you he is going to want to do the ceremony here. Just trust me. Uh, this had better work. The dad showing up or not showing up is a major issue. But an even bigger issue right now, I think, is Kelly's attitude. And if she's not on board with this, the wedding's really going to be a disaster. 
You have the Langa for the reception? I do. Okay. So you did get that with surrender? Yes, we did get okay. that, yeah. And the ceremony dress? Yes. I picked out a dress for Chris Lynn, and I'm just really hoping at this point that she's going to like it and she's going to put it on. I mean, for all we know, she might put it on and walk away and not even go through with the day. So we have both dresses. Yes, we have both We dresses. just have to get your dad here. Yeah, we need to do that, or you need to do that. I, you need to get no, your dad no, here. not me. It's the night before the wedding and time for the rehearsal. It's up to Gina to keep everything on track. You'll walk down the aisle. Oh, nice and slow, that's perfect. And seat her in the first chair, and then you'll sit right behind her there. Ooh. Ooh. Right there, perfect. And now I'll take my groomsmen. My dad wasn't at the rehearsal today, so uh, Gina had to run it, so I don't know if he's gonna be here tomorrow or not. Nice long line, great. Follow me. Now you'll have bouquets, so hands at the waist. So you're gonna go off to the side. <laughs> just, just make sure he's next to you. Perfect. All right, we're ready for a wedding. All right. Let's go. Now we can go eat. Let's. Go. I am worried that Kristen is wearing the white dress tomorrow. My family will not be happy with that. It's really hard to envision the wedding right now because I know that there's been a lot of troubles going on and I just want everyone, everyone to be happy. We're just hoping for the best and we hope that, you know, uh, Kelly really has everything in check. <laughs> the rehearsal dinner tonight, uh, it was really awkward. Crystal was walking around not talking to anybody and I'm believing it's got a lot to do with tomorrow's the big day. She's really had no hand in anything whatsoever. I mean, as her mom, I was really disappointed for her to have such a negative attitude towards people. <laughs> All right, guys, if I can get your attention real quick. We just want to make a special thanks to our moms for doing such a great job and making this night possible. And let's have a great night tomorrow night, guys. Enjoy the wedding. Here's my daughter getting married tomorrow. I'm supposed to be really excited about it and everything, and at this moment, I'm dreading it. I, I don't know what to expect. I don't even know if it's going to happen truly at this moment. So, I mean, something that should be so exciting is really weighing me right down. Crystalline, hurry up. Come on, I got something to show you. Hi, Mom. Crystalline is at her mother's house to see her wedding dress for the first time. How are you? Good. Yeah. I have a surprise for you. But mine's better than yours for sure. Come on. How about you show me your surprise first, and then I'll show you mine. Well, Mom, I got Mendy done. Look. Mendy? Crystal Lynn. What made you do this, hon? Seriously. It's my wedding. It's beautiful. Everyone does this. You know, I don't like it. I'm not going to say anything, though. This is your day, and I want you to be happy. And I'm going to have to just accept this for today. Gosh. <laughs> Gosh. It's beautiful, Mom. Anyways, for my surprise, I've got your wedding dress here. Really? I think it's beautiful, and I really think you're going to love it. But I want to try to keep peace between everybody and keep everybody happy. So I think even Jin's mom's going to be pleased with this. You ready to try it on and see what it looks like on you? Yeah. Let's go. OK. All right, come on. Keep your eyes closed, no peeking at all. Are you ready to see your wedding dress? I'm ready. You sure? I'm very excited, Mom. One, two, three, look. Oh my goodness, it's a Lenka. Do you love it? It's beautiful. Wow. Oh my goodness, Mom, I had no idea you'd get me something I like so much. It looked like you when I saw this. Wow, Mom, I love it. Oh my goodness, look at all the detail. This is all hands stitched. And the corset at the back instead of a zipper, so it's very different. It's so fitted, it's beautiful, Mom. Do you think Jen's mom's gonna be happy now? At least I put you in a langa. I'm sure she'll be happy. This is beautiful. Okay. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. I have a favorite task, so can we just sit down for a second? I have to sit down for this? Come on. So, Jen and I were talking, and we'd really like it if you would sing at the reception for us. Are you being serious? Yeah. Do you know it's like three and a half hours before you get married? Mom, you have so many songs. You can pick one. Mom, it would mean a lot to me. I really want you to do it. <sighs> you know, it would mean a lot to me, too. I'd be very honored and very happy to do that for you, OK? All right. So let's go and hurry up and get ready for all I've got to do now. <laughs> 
It's wedding day, and Gina has her hands full. We have 15 minutes to make this a church. Are the ribbons on all 450 chairs? Girls, why don't we go work on the centerpieces? That's okay. fine. Take this okay. with you. Hey, Gina. Hey, Kelly. I'm so excited. Oh, you like it? I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I can't wait for my dad to come in and see it. I can't wait for the kids to see it. Do you think your dad's going to love it? I hope my dad loves it. Is he coming? Is he's he coming. He's coming. But I've got so many things to do and hardly any time. So okay. when he comes, I'm going to bring him in right away, and I'll show him, and then we'll take it from there. OK, okay. that's great. Right, no, thank you so much. OK, hon. I'll see you later. Go take care of okay, things. Bye. Good luck. And I want to show you, don't don't mind any of this. Wait till you see what's all around here. Look. What is it? What do you think? Are you going to do the wedding here? Uh, it's not a church setting. It's not what I'm used to, but it'll do. You'll do it. It'll do. I'll Come do on. it. I'll Come on, do we it. don't have any good. time to waste. I was so worried about bringing my dad in here today because it's so close to the time for it to actually happen. But uh, he loved it, and I owe a lot to Gina for this, for sure. The wedding's about to begin, if you okay, wanted to sure, go in. Sure. You know where you're going? I, uh, Straight up? To the room? Yeah, you okay. got it. I don't know where the bride and groom is. We need to line them up and send them down the aisle. We're a half hour late. Not good. The bride and groom finally arrive. The ceremony can begin. Dearly beloved, we are assembled here in the sight of God and these witnesses. Join together Manjinder Singh and Crystal Lynn for Manu. Manjinder, will you have this woman to be your wife, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy state of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor her in plenty and in want, so long as you both shall live? Yes, I will. Crystal Lynn, will you have this man to be your husband, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony. Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in plenty and in want, in joy and in sorrow, so long as you both shall live? Yes, I will. Mangender, will you repeat after me, please? I, Mangender. I, Mangender. Take you, Crystal Lynn. Take you, Crystal Lynn. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. I, Crystal Lynn. I, Crystal Lynn. Take you, Mangender. Take you, Minjinder. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. I declare that they are now husband and wife. <laughs> it was so hard not to cry. It was so hard. When I saw Crystal Lynn come in through the doors tonight, I just knew she let go of everything, all the anger, anything that she was holding about all of this, and uh, I think she was absolutely thrilled. The bride and groom mingle with their guests in the foyer, while Gina and her team ready the room for the reception. We need to get all of these on the tables. Okay. okay. I love it. It's party time. Time to change the clothes and get on with it. Let's start. Introduced for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Singh. The best thing about this wedding is that everyone has gone from being really unhappy to really happy. I want to 
want to thank my mom and dad for all their love and support, and I just hope that I will be as good of a parent as you have been to me. I would just like to thank both our moms for putting together this wonderful wedding. Please, guys, a round of applause to you. Thank you so much. God bless you. None of this would be happening if Kelly would have walked in and hated the venue. We had to make it a church. We had to make it heavenly. She walked in. She loved it. And now they could party. Are you upset with anything I've done here? No. You love it? Yeah, I love it. So to me, I succeeded. I love her. Ooh. <laughs> the wedding was absolutely stupendous. Everything worked out so good for us. The cake, the venue, the clothes. I think the decor came together well. I think the ceremony looked great. It was so touching that my grandfather married us. It was very beautiful. When I saw her walking down the aisle, honestly, I think my heart skipped a beat. I thought I was going to have a heart attack, actually. It didn't ruin the ceremony, but I was shocked to see her in white dress. This has been a really big celebration of love between the bride and groom. Now that we're finally married, we're just so happy. Honestly, all the stress is, is off our backs, and we just want to party. We want to have a great time and just enjoy being married. No more wedding wars for us, right? No. No, we're no. done. We're we are friends. Done. We are friends. Peaceful yeah. now, yes. We are friends. Meet Kevin and Sandra. They're going to have to deal with Gina's little twist. You have to hand over full control of your wedding to one of your mothers. But I like to be the lead dog. I'm gonna fight to not have my daughter contained on her wedding day. Will this be the wedding of their dreams or a total nightmare? Tradition, tradition, tradition. I'm done. This woman is relentless. May the best mom win. Kevin and Sandra are the very essence of a dynamic duo in love. She's very hot. That's right. Yes. Super hot. Yes. Keep going. A little too hot for me. <laughs> Initially. So Initially. <laughs> Kevzies, tuck in time. Every night before I go to sleep, he tucks me in. Don't forget my feet. OK. Thanks, honey. She's my little Jewish princess. Perfect. Love you. Me too. I found this incredible gem on web dating website for Jewish people. <laughs> and uh, when I saw her, I was just like, she's the one. That's so sweet. Aw. Your favorite DJ, Sandra, is getting married. And you want to know something? Kevin better be home right now cleaning those dishes. Kevin? I am not the controlling wife type. This is a figment of his imagination. All right. I proposed to Sandra. We were playing rummy cue with her, her grandmother and her dad. I knew that if I put the, the ring inside the chocolate pastry that she couldn't say no, because she loves chocolate. She went to take a bite out of it and almost ate the ring in, in the process. <laughs> Kevin and Sandra want to get married, but they have no time to plan the wedding because they're always on the go. I have a computer consulting business. I do work at home. I have my own satellite radio show across Canada and the US, and it's going really great. What's up, you sexy boys? You're listening to The Sandra Z Show. And I'm doing my PhD, so I'm like super busy. Too busy to plan my own wedding. I do not trust Kevin to plan the wedding. In your face. If Kevin planned the wedding, it would be robots and keyboards. Kevin will plan a computer robot <laughs> wedding. <laughs> great. Well, no matter how it computes, Sandra and Kevin's nuptials will be nixed without Gina's help. Hi, Sandra. Hi. I can make their wedding happen, but they have to agree to my rules. We need somebody to make it happen. We need yeah. some help. Totally. But there is one condition. Not a big one on conditions. Yeah. What's the condition? You have to hand over full control of your wedding, and I mean everything. The wedding decor, the wedding dress, the menu to one of your mothers. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to work. Yeah. I need control. Total control. Total control. It's hard for me. I know. You wouldn't be able to control anything, but your wedding day would happen, and fast. Maybe we should just try and go for it. I don't, I don't know what yeah, else to do. Yeah, it's less headache for us. Yeah, and I have no time. Sandra and Kevin, I need your answer now. Yes. Yes. 
Yes? Yes. Okay? Okay. Great. Let's get married. Let's do awesome. it. Okay. okay. They are totally psyched about this wedding at first, a little hesitant, but I think they signed on pretty quickly, and I think that we're going to be able to deliver. My mom's got a shot. I think her mom's got a shot. It's, it's a toss-up. It's a toss-up. Yeah. It really is. Bring on the moms. Let's do this. I love this. Sandra's mom is all about glamour, big fun, and flaunting it all. I'm an older single woman who loves dating, who loves life. I love dancing. I love music. <laughs> it's all about the pleasure and the freedom. This is my kind of dress. My mom is the Hungarian rebel. Vigyázzatok nagyon magatokra, mert férfiak jövök táncolok. She's pretty, you know, headstrong. Aggie, she's scary. I'm a little afraid of her. She's scary? Really? Kevin's mom, Shirley Ann, is all about maintaining tradition and keeping the faith. Being Jewish has a big responsibility and can be a real challenge. My mom goes to synagogue almost every day. All her friends are from synagogue. She pretty much is there when the sun comes up. Harvey and I have been married almost 50 years. Good job, honey. The big Bible. Harvey and I are really thrilled that Kevin is marrying somebody in the Jewish faith. Family is the key to Judaism. Family is most important. These moms have nothing at all in common. Aggie's a tough customer. Oh, now we're talking. Aggie's nature happens to be more wild, more out there. Totally different lifestyles. I am an outsider. I think things a little calmer. I am Jewish, and it means a lot to me, but I'm not a practicing Jew. My background is not Hungarian, and I think Hungarians are great, but we're very, very different. So on one hand, I've got my controlling mother, and on the other hand, I've got my mother-in-law-to-be, and on the other side, I have Sandra. So uh, I guess she's in good company. Oh. oh my God. <laughs> With such conflicting opinions, this wedding has two outcomes, mazel tov or called off. Overall, we want it to be like just one big party. <laughs> As a small, intimate wedding. Red carpet, paparazzi. Super grandiose, amazeballs, incredible. I would like to see the wedding happen in a synagogue. I don't want to have it in a synagogue. Imperative that the food is kosher. A lot of cakes, a lot of chocolate, a lot of dessert. A violin, a harp, a flute. Oh, oh. Elegant. Lots of dancing, champagne flowing. What I really would not like to see in the wedding is wild dancing, <laughs> low cut dresses. Kevin is marrying Sandra but he's also marrying her boobs. Her boobs have to show. And then there's Kevin's opinion. I think there has to be a, a traditional element. My daughter is like an eagle, and it would be like putting an eagle in a cage. With so many conflicting ideas, it's time for Gina to lay down some rules. Moms, you each have 48 hours to put together your plan for the ideal wedding. Only one mom's vision will be chosen. And this part is key. The losing mom has to be the winning mom's assistant. So there will only be one winner. Moms, one of you will lose. I like to be the lead dog. I know I'm going to win. I'm going to run the show. Well, may the best mom win. Coming up with an inspired wedding vision in just 48 hours is going to be the ultimate test for these moms. And whatever decisions Sandra and Kevin make, they're going to have to live with this for the rest of their lives. Shirley Ann, you may stand for tradition and faith, but never underestimate a mother who wants to party. Aggie, you may be a sassy modern mama, but remember, tradition reigns supreme. Each mom has just 48 hours to find items that explain their wedding vision. I'm looking for ideas for a Hollywood-style wedding. There is red carpet, like a roll of red carpet. Red carpet! If my mom throws the wedding, I believe it's going to be a big party. <laughs> All right. 
That is beautiful. If my mom would have it her way, we'd be having the wedding in a synagogue. Yeah, for sure. This is an original. Not necessarily our cup of tea. Love to get this for Sandra. That's very pretty, too. Something beautiful like the glass what you break under the chuppah. Oh, it's a great idea. Wonderful. I want this wedding to be glitzy, glamorous, super Hollywood, and totally out there. Time is getting late, and there's so many things to do. And for the first time, I'm really feeling the pressure. Hi, Gina. It's time for the moms to wow Gina with their chutzpah. OK, Shirley Ann, what is your vision? Jewish, traditional, brunch, synagogue wedding. A glamorous Hollywood party wedding. Where would the ceremony and the reception be? A big warehouse, a modern warehouse. What are these? Hamantaschen. There must be kosher food. OK. It's non-kosher for me. I would love to see a violin. Red carpet, paparazzi. Pose for me, now. There, you go. Candles, we will have. Flame helps bring us closer to the Almighty. Glitter everywhere, all over the tables. OK. I want a big, sweet table. Chocolate and candies in all colors. My daughter is all about sweets. We need to have sesame-crusted salmon. It's out of this world. I like salmon. Beautiful centerpiece, nice gold color. Take a look at this calla lily. And now, is that not beautiful? They are beautiful. Elegant. We have to have a special prayer book to be able to connect with the Almighty. Booze or no booze? We could have wine at a few tables. Oh, oh there you go. L'chaim. <laughs> My favorite is when the groom steps on the glass and everybody else muzzle tuck. How about your son-in-law? Is he OK with this such a dramatic theme? I think he would do if she wants it. OK. Well, the next step is to pitch it to the couple. I'm putting my faith in you because this is really the best way to do it. This is a classic case of two very strong moms with two very clear ideas of how they want their kids to be married. Maintaining the traditions, I think it's really important. I do not want my daughter to be stuck at a synagogue for the wedding. I, I don't want to disappoint my mom or Aggie. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Choosing between the two moms is giving our groom a major moral meltdown. I'm torn between my mom wanting a traditional wedding at a synagogue and uh, my fiance who wants to uh, have a big party. This is about the wedding again. God bless uh, Jewish women. Uh, they have a reputation at times for being a little forceful. So I really feel for Kevin. He's trapped in this maze. I mean, it's a nightmare. What do you want? I, I think I want a more traditional wedding. I think so, yeah. I think I'm in my mom's camp. What do you think I should do? Come on, Kevin. You had your bar mitzvah in this very room. You're a proud Jew, aren't you? Right. Tell your fiance. This is who you are. This is your wedding. All right. Why can't you just have the ceremony the way you want it? OK. With a chuppah? Yeah. With kosher food? And the party the way your fiance wants it? Then there's no doubt in my mind that this is going to work out. It was good to talk to the rabbi. It, was, uh, it helped give me some clarity. I know what I want now. I'm confident. I think that Kevin is going to get uh, completely attacked by these women he will not be able to stand up against them. This is actually a wonderful primer uh, to what being married is going to be like. Gina will now unveil the mom's visions to the couple. One mom will win, the other will be the assistant. Hi, good to see you. Come on in. And little do they know that their mothers will be watching and hearing everything they say from a secret hiding place. Time for Kevin to man up. These presentations represent the most important day of your life. You have to decide which one best represents you. But remember, you'll also be choosing a mother. Hard thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it'll be tough. Are you ready to see what your wedding could be? Yes. Let's do it. Wow, that's amazing. Oh my god. I love it. Yellow, gray, fun, funky. She's right. Aggie's vision, I knew it, is a glitzy, modern Hollywood wedding. Perfect. Right. The wedding will take place in a hip warehouse. She wants a DJ, a late party, 
Guests will arrive on the red carpet. All of the guests will have their picture taken by paparazzi. The colors, deep silvers, golds, lots and lots of liquor. Aggie does not want kosher food at this wedding. The food has to be kosher, and he understands it. But it's not that, that really traditional, well, traditional Who said scent. anything about traditional? All right, that's it. The wedding dress. Sexy, revealing. Perfect. Can I, can I just, do you mind? Just two seconds. So this thing, I'm not loving this thing. I think if this was perfect, they would have our pictures, like, juxtaposed. That would be just perfect. Because really, I mean, this is not us. I mean, we're, we're much cuter than this. Yes. All right, guys. Yeah. Let's step back and let me show you presentation number two. Okay. okay let's do that. Uh... Whoa. Ouch. That's more like it. Cornucopia of disaster. Shirley Ann's vision is a Jewish synagogue brunch wedding. Oh, my God. Since this is a brunch, coffee and tea will be served. There will be wine on the tables. There will be all kosher food at this wedding. No wedding cake? No wedding cake. I have never seen that. A wedding Why without a cake. Why would you need a cake? What, what's the importance of a cake? The wedding is the importance. It's symbolic. There will be live classical music at this wedding. Yeah. We're going to be dancing to a violin, a harp, and a clarinet. It's going to be elegant. Observing the traditional elements of the Jewish wedding, Kevin, you would be breaking the glass at the end of the ceremony. Mazel tov. The dress, something lace, traditional and long sleeve. Great. So I can sweat and not look good at the same time. I think it works. No, it doesn't work. Yeah, it does No, it doesn't work. work. Sandra, be honest. What do you love about this presentation? Eh. That's my answer. This is kosher. Your mom's vision isn't. And at least my mom's no. vision has style no. and grace Maybe and creativity. It and it's kosher. It works. Take a few minutes. I'll be back to get your decision. Good luck. Shirley Ann and Aggie are cut off while Kevin and Sandra decide who will be the wedding winner. This is amazing. This is creative. Look, and this is who died. No. My mom worked really hard on this. I get that, but why should we go with it? Because your mom said you to go with it? You know what the bottom line is? It's kosher. One bottle of wine per table. That means everybody gets a little sippy cup. Look at this, look at this vision. It looks like, like a lot of fun, but there's no tradition. There's nothing Jewish about it. You're going to alienate like half of your family. This is hedonism at its best. Hedonism? Yeah. I'm in love with this. this is, it's us. It's got to be kosher. You have to think about us, because at the end of the day, our parents are not sleeping in our bed. I'm not going to disappoint my mom. Have you made your decision? Yes. Yeah. yeah. We are going with? Don't tell me. Tell your moms. <gasps> Whoa. Hi. Oh, God. Your moms have been backstage listening to all of your comments. Great. You're in trouble. Tell your moms who you've decided on. Kevin, I think you should um, break the news to the moms. Uh, I, I can't do it. I OK, can't. I'll do it. So this was a really hard decision. But we came to the conclusion that we are going to go with you, Mumsies. All right! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. How could you? I'm not going to be sorry. I love you, oh, Mumsie. If Shirley Ann would have won, it would have been the most boring wedding in history. I tried for you. He did try. You did a fantastic yeah. job. We love you very much. I yeah, we do. Very hard. My vision was elegant. Consolation, Hank. Oh, thank you. Exactly. Thank you. This is a Hollywood premiere production. It is not a wedding. They may as well be married in a civil ceremony. I'm going to push to include many of the elements of my vision. We weren't rejecting the fact that it was Jewish. We were rejecting the fact that it was a brunch. Your smelled the best. And know. it looks the best. Look at these treats. I wouldn't be surprised if we show up at our wedding and we see Shirley Ann's vision in place of my mom's vision. This woman is relentless. Your mom won, but the war's not over. Congratulations, Aggie. Thank you very much. Shirley Ann, you're going to be Aggie's wedding assistant. You'll be helping her pull her vision together. We've got one week to plan this yes. wedding. Let's get to work. All right. 
Shirley Ann is not willing to bend on anything. We really need to get her on board and let her know that she cannot push her vision onto Aggie's side. We've got to make it smashing. We've got to make it terrific and wonderful. My vision was the right vision. Good luck. With less than a week till they walk down the aisle, it's time to embark on Sandra's largest concern of the day, the dress. She's given full control over to Aggie. Whatever dress Aggie chooses, Sandra will be wearing that on her wedding day. Take a look at this gorgeous dress with Aggie, all this handy th These dresses are not right. Oh, come on. Why are we look even at here? This gorgeous piece. Not and the Sandra right would look so gorgeous with a dress with long sleeves and a high neck and lace, you know, peau de soie. I need you to hold it. They're glitzy. There's Beautiful. No style. Maybe I can give you enough dresses to cover up your face. Oh. I feel really uncomfortable with Aggie being so domineering and pushy. And see oh my her. God. I think this is going to look beautiful. Aggie. This is really, really nice. These are awful. And that's it. Let her try it on. It's going to look good on her. You'll see. I was getting really aggravated. Just come with I me. I didn't even want to be your assistant. I wish I could see myself because I probably look so hot. Every bride gets to see their dress before the day. So I'm a little bit uh, worried. Gorgeous. Weird. Isn't that gorgeous? No. Oh, it's oh. not the right dress. No. It's absolutely gorgeous. Perfect on you. It's embarrassing. She's exposed. Please. She needs to be covered. They could fix it by custom making the top. You don't need any cover up. Can you come over here for a minute? Is it possible that you could custom design the top? We might be able to do like a, a custom neckline for her. Right. And well, excuse me, it doesn't matter. First of all, you're my assistant. Sandra does not need to be covered up. Please take Sandra and try on the next okay. dress. Thank you very much. Beautiful. Stunning. Stunning. You look absolutely gorgeous. This is so beautiful. You look absolutely stunning. Thanks, Marie. You are so beautiful. You get me so emotional. She's falling out. This is a big mistake. Don't even go there. It has to be adjusted, but I think this is the one center. Adjust it I so would, that it I would comes vote up for this. Neck. No, not closing it up. This has to be adjusted, but the wedding is in six days. Can it be done? That's cutting it really close. Um, you know, it can't be done here, but it could be sent to New York. It would be possible. The dress not being here for repair or, or adjustment, it's very, very difficult because anything can go wrong. Do me a Thank favor you very and ask much. when you're on the phone if they can do long sleeves and cover you're up. You're not running the show. This is the dress. This is what's going to happen. Aggie keeps shutting me down. I'm not happy. So far, Aggie's vision for the wedding has Shirley Ann. Red carpet. I love this. Seeing red. This is what exactly we needed. What take do you a need look, this take for? A look. What? What's it for? It's the red carpet for outside. You're talking about a wedding. It's going to be fantastic. You can have people coming out of the limousine, and they step on it, and they feel like a million dollars with Aggie. the paparazzi right there. This is a wedding. This is not a theater premiere. This, this doesn't make it a premiere. It makes it a wedding. It should be sophisticated. It should be elegant. This is elegant. What is it not elegant? This a red carpet flashy. with a beautiful this is oh, glitzy. It, it, it's not glitzy. a wedding. What's wrong with glitzy? Red carpets, velvet ropes. Give me a break. It's not necessary. You become a paparazzi. I, I, I'm see. not a paparazzi. No, no. Aggie. She's so negative. Aggie, I don't get it. It's getting a little more and more frustrating. Walk I'm it not coming in here. The focus should be on the needs of the wedding itself. The holy matrimony, the invitations, buying shoes for the grandchildren, the important things. Help me to grab Oh, my God. Who needs this? Ugh. First, I'm carrying heavy dresses, and now a heavy carpet. This is not supposed to be my role. This is so heavy. I know. Oh, come on, come You're on. walking too fast. Just put it in here. <laughs> All right. This is not necessary. Done. The next thing is the venue. Hopefully, synagogue pushing Shirley Ann will approve. What is this place? Where are we? We're supposed to be looking at a venue for a wedding. This is a venue for the wedding. No, 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 no. You I can't believe you can't even come in it's and take a, a look synagogue. at it. It's not a synagogue. You have to have a nice Jewish wedding in a nice synagogue. Just come I'll with be in me the car. and just take a you look. You go in. I'll be in the car. Okay. See you later. 
feeling very frustrated. This is not a birthday party. She doesn't seem to have room to understand what's important to me. At this point, I don't know what to do with her. Hmm. Wow, this is fabulous. Wow. I love it. Fabulous. All I know right now that this is the perfect venue. This is it. This is perfect. Aggie, I came in to tell you, if you are determined to have the wedding here, then I'm out. There's no way I'm going to have a wedding in a warehouse. It should be in a synagogue. Take a look no at it. You don't even way. look at I'm the place. Be, I'm not being part of a wedding. This where is I'm... your son's wedding. How can exactly. you be that part of it? Exactly. It should be anything at least want. a synagogue. Always going your way. It's a tradition, tradition, tradition. I'm done. Stop being so stubborn. The wedding has to take place in six days. We don't have the time for argument, especially when we know it's the right place, when I know it's the right place. I feel totally left out, rejected. I meant what I said to Aggie, <sighs> that if things don't change, then I'm not going to be a part of this wedding. I will not come to this wedding. I don't know where to go from here. I just don't know. I just absolutely don't know. I need Gina. With only two days before the wedding, it's time for Gina to attempt to salvage the mother's relationship. They're not getting along at all. Something has to be done. Thanks for meeting me here. Hi, Gina. Okay. How's it going? Uh, it's going. It's just not happening. Shirley Ann is blocking my way, and, and she has so much negative energy, and I only have two days. Right. It just doesn't look like the wedding is going to happen at all. It's not OK that you guys aren't talking. It's not OK that you guys aren't working together. We need to do this or this wedding isn't going to happen. Aggie, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to give Shirley Ann a few things that were in her vision. But that's not what the kids wanted. Aggie, it's the only way that you two are going to move forward. First, we will not change the venue, but the children will marry under a chuppah. That, that would make a huge difference. It's traditional, it's Jewish, and it'll work. We will give you the chuppah. Having the wedding canopy is absolutely paramount. Thank you. The other is Shirley Ann. You will now be in charge of the menu. What? The groom's side won't come to the wedding if it's not kosher food. So we have to make this work. I want you to meet me here just to taste the food. Keep an open I, mind. I think you're going to like it. Do this for the kids, mom. Okay? Go, okay. Have you to go. And try. Come on. Oh, let's roll. It looks so nice. Oh my, it smells so good. It does. Aggie has to have the venue. It's important for her vision. But we can make the venue Shirley Ann friendly. These are the best courses, the best kosher food options that they have right. to choose a menu. Okay. Let's start with the salad course. Okay. Butternut squash pecan salad. Or we have the fennel salad here. <laughs> So dig in, let's see. amazing Aggie cup. No, no. Cup. You, you, you have you it. You like it. It's OK. You have it. You wouldn't know it's kosher. Whatever. Do it. Mm. Out of the swirl. OK. I definitely choose the pecan butternut. It is so good. All right. Entrees. We have the herb crusted chicken. <gasps> right. Or the chicken roulade. Mm. It's to die for. I think I'll go with the herb crusted chicken. Come, come, you have to come. come. No, please. Come. No. You no. have I, to I, come. I'm not interested. Thanks, thanks. Just you taste it, taste choose it. whatever. Yeah. Dessert. We have caramel pecan tart. Oh. Right. Or a fruit flan. Wow. Amazing. Mmm. The shudders and the taste, I have to tell you, it's like being in heaven. Really, it's good. So we have a menu. We're good to go. OK. We will have the butternut squash pecan salad. Wonderful. The herb crusted chicken. Absolutely. And the pecan tart. Delightful. All kosher. Thank you, Gina, so much for making the arrangements. You're the greatest. You're the best. Thank you so much. It's a kosher hug. I'm still not happy about the venue, the warehouse. I really feel a synagogue would have been the best venue. However, I'm willing to go along with this. I'm frustrated because I think Gina is siding with Shirley Ann. Looks like we are going kosher food. It looks like we're getting a hoopa at the warehouse. I care about this wedding. I can't have it fail for Sandra. OK, girls, let's get this wedding going. Let's get this wedding going for sure. We have a menu. We have a venue. We have so much more to do. If they're not on the same page, we're going to have a very unhappy bride and groom. 
With stress levels through the roof and the clock running out, Kevin and Sandra get a visit from Gina. They don't really know what's going on, so I think that they're starting to get really nervous. How are you guys feeling? Totally stressed out. Not good. Not good. Not good? I'm totally regretting doing this. We don't know what's going on. We heard our mothers are fighting. We don't know anything. Like, it would be nice if you can just tell us, at least tell us, like, a little bit. Like, I don't have a wedding dress. I don't know what's going on. Well, yeah. the dress. Your brother has the dress. The dress is coming from New York. So he is bringing it here the morning of the wedding. And I know it's two days before the wedding, and, you know. And that's why I'm freaking out. Yeah, that's scary. Because it's... Like, we don't know... If to not have gonna... any control over it. Yeah, it's yeah, gonna... It's, not, it's gonna... It's it might good. blow up in our faces. And but we have 200, not... 250 people coming. More than that now. More, more than, than that. that. More. It's three, close to 300. You know, this isn't a joke. This is our lives. I, I, it's stressful. Yeah. I mean, you guys signed on to this and you've lost all control of your wedding. And I get that, Yeah. but I'm working for you. It's two days before the wedding. You should be relaxing, just enjoy each other. This wedding will be flawless. I hope so. I hope so. We'll see. Trust me, guys. While the moms scramble to get the wedding planned, Gina sends Sandra for some much needed R&R before the wedding rehearsal. Oh, wow. Oh, my God, I'm so in heaven right now. I feel so great. I'd like to be like this every day. Mom? Hi. Yes, yes, honey. What's happening? I'm very sick, sweetheart. I can't make it tonight for the rehearsal. What am I supposed to do now? I'm just like praying and hoping that she's gonna be there tomorrow because how am I gonna have a wedding without my mom? I never imagined I would be this stressed out at this point. If you're not there tomorrow, we are gonna walk in to a nightmare. Whether Aggie is sick or just doesn't wanna deal with Shirley Ann getting her way, Kevin has no idea what's about to happen. Being the gentleman I am, I brought Sandra some, some sweets, some snacks. Hold on a sec, hold on. Let me, let me call you back, okay? I just walked into uh, a landmine. What's the problem? My mom is sick. What? Now your mom has to take over, and if your mom changes my mom's vision, you are gonna have one unhappy bride on your hands. And really? I don't think you want that. What are you gonna do You're about joking it? joking me, I'm right? not gonna have your mom start taking over. If your mom fails... My mom's not gonna fail. Really? Put that into writing. What the hell? My mom, my mom's gonna step in like, like we need her to. She's good at that. I don't think you realize the, the, the total problem here that I'm having. I am so stressed out at this point. It's the day before the wedding. What can uh -huh. my mom... Let me talk. It's the day before the wedding. What can my mom do? It's already emotion. This wedding is turning into a total disaster. You call your mom up now, and you tell her to follow my mom's vision. And if she doesn't, Kevin, it's on you. Sandra's not happy. I'm stressed out because I'm in the middle. I don't want to do this anymore. Kevin is totally driving me crazy. Don't even kiss me. If Shirley Ann takes control, I promise you she will not support my mom's vision. It will go completely haywire. This was supposed to be Aggie's time to shine, and she called me. She sounds sick and devastated. So I really want to make sure that we keep on track, and if she does show up tomorrow, that we deliver exactly what she wanted. With time not on her side, Gina builds the hoopa and works her magic to make sure Kevin and Sandra's big day is not destroyed. This looks better. I think we should even lose one chair. But her biggest challenge has yet to arrive. Shirley Ann. Hi, Gina. It's good to see you again. How are you? You know what? I have to say, uh, I really could not visualize a warehouse, but this is amazing. This is really very special. We have the hoopa started. Right? It's a nice start, right? Yes, abs yeah? absolutely. Where's Aggie? What Kim, happened? I'll be right with you. Yeah. Where's Shirley Ann, Aggie is sick. At this point, she doesn't even know if she's coming to the wedding. Oh, that would be terrible. Shirley Ann, I need you to step in and carry out Aggie's vision. But Aggie did win. So even though she's sick, yeah. I really, really need you to keep in mind that it is yeah. still her vision. We have no time. We have one day. Right. Could you carry this out? I'm going to stay with you. I need right. you to carry out her vision. Aggie's vision, sure. Sure, I can do that. It's for the kids, yes. All right, All right you're in charge. OK, so All right. can we take a look at the uh, chuppah? You go do that. All right. All right. Shirley Ann, yes. remember Aggie's vision. 
Okay, I got okay. it. Aggie's vision. I'm trying to empower Shirley Ann at this point because we could use her help. But if Aggie and Sandra show up tomorrow and it's not exactly the vision that they wanted carried out, we're going to have a disaster. As Shirley Ann incorporates traditional Jewish prayer benchers on the tables and Kaddish goblets that signify joy and abundance, Gina is having second thoughts. Oh God, I think I may have just created a monster. Hey girls, this is going straight across? Yeah, that's fine. While Gina continues to prep the wedding venue, the rehearsal dinner is underway. And with Aggie still under the weather, Sandra steps in for some damage control. Um, I just want to make sure that you're, you're following in my mom's vision. It's going to be magical. It's going to be beautiful. Let's see. I'm getting nervous. I hope so. It had better be my mom's vision tomorrow. I will be severely disappointed if I don't see my mom's vision. Just hours before the wedding, all our couple can do now is put on a brave face. So we would really like to thank everyone for coming and we are gonna have an amazing, amazing time tomorrow. There are a lot of surprises and secrets that I don't even know about. And thanks to Kevin, because without Kevin, we all wouldn't be here. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. To everybody, thank you. Thank you. On the outside, I'm smiling, like everything is great, everything's fantastic, and on the inside, everything is falling apart. My dress may not come tomorrow. My mom is sick, she may not come. Shirley Ann may destroy our vision, and I'm totally, totally, utterly freaking out. It's the big day for Sandra and Kevin, but Sandra is not a happy camper. My mom is not even here, she's still sick. My dress is in New York, because it got fitted there, and my brother's supposed to be bringing it up, and He's two hours late. And you don't have any backup dress or something no. to use. Oh my God, a disaster. I just don't even know what's gonna happen. I haven't seen the venue. I don't know what Shirley Ann's gonna pull out of a hat. I hope it's gonna be like my mom's vision. Oh my God, you make me so nervous. I'm gonna have a mini stroke. This is not the way my day should be. I didn't imagine this to come to this point. And I'm really honestly getting uh, at the point where I'm gonna explode. With just an hour before the wedding. Mom! Oh, Aggie arrives at Sandra's to deliver some news. Are you feeling better? I don't really feel good, but I wouldn't miss this. Mm. I, I had to be here. I had to be here. Is the dress here? Mom, where is my dress? Well, Gabby has the dress. Gabby's Mom. bringing it. I'm so happy that you're here, but I need my dress now. Did you get no, it? No, I didn't. Gabby's not oh here Oh, my yet. God. I know he'll be here. Somebody's he's here. coming. He's Who's coming. Says... I'm sure he's coming. Oh, he's here. Oh, my hey! God. I was like so happy when I saw him running down the driveway. I was like, yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's run, let's run, let's run. Oh my God, I'm so happy. All right. I want to see it. I know, I know. I understand. It looks really good, actually. You ready? Yep. Relax. Hold on. Wait. Open them. Oh my God. It looks good, right? Oh All right. It's great. Oh, I love it. I really feel like a princess. Oh, I'm Thanks, so Mom, glad. Please. It's amazing. I love I'm it. So I love pleased. it. I'm so pleased. Now that's a dress. Sandra is impressed with Aggie's choice of dress. Right, sweetie. Now, hopefully, Aggie's impressed with Shirley Ann's touches to the venue. For me to take over and do everything, my goodness, I mean, the little books on the table and the petals, I, I, it's just been amazing. This is beautiful, just perfect, wonderful. The fact that Aggie is sick, she just totally stepped in and she's been motoring through it. The Hollywood theme, it's getting there. Shirley Ann is respecting Aggie. She understands that this is her vision, but there are definitely parts of Shirley Ann that I'm seeing. Well, listen, yeah. let me take this over. Okay. And you get ready for the ceremony. All right. Okay? Oh, thank you. You look thank beautiful. You. Oh, thank All you. All right, get going. Yeah, let's put this on this right here. We just need two more. We've still got a ton to do. It's really all systems go. Aggie arrives at the venue all smiles, feeling a lot better, and is excited to see what Shirley Ann's done. Oh, hi. Oh my goodness, we have a star! Look at this! Wow, this is fabulous. Aggie, how are you feeling? Feeling a little better. Uh, yeah, and how do you like that everything? So far, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. I love the star. I look gorgeous. Look at your hair. Thank oh my you. goodness. With no time to lose, guests start filtering in and are greeted by the paparazzi. <laughs> With almost 300 guests in their seats, Gina takes one last look around and decides everything is good to go. 
bring on our Hollywood duo. I'm ready. As the moment approaches, oh, don't draw blood. Shirley Ann has one last traditional surprise. I found for you a kittle, a, a white robe to wear. An item that represents holiness, purity, and is worn at all religious events. You think that you're comfortable wearing it for this ceremony? Sure. Oh, this is fabulous. Kevin, Kevin, come on, sweetie. Come. Thanks, Mom. Bye, Dolly. Mwah. No, not, not for right now. Traditional or not, it's time for the wedding. There's Kevin with his parents. And there's Shirley Ann putting on Kevin's kittle. But there's no sign of Sandra since she stormed off. Our bride has finally arrived and we couldn't have a more relieved groom. You made it, under the camera. Yeah. Be thou my wife according to the law of Moses and Israel. I faithfully promise that I will be a true husband unto you. I will honor and cherish you, protect and support you, and provide all that is necessary for your due sustenance even as it becomes a Jewish husband to do. The bride will now march around the groom seven times, accompanied by the mothers, symbolic of holiness. Behold, you are consecrated to me with this ring according to the law of Moshe and Israel. Sandra and Kevin, who have now entered into the holy covenant of marriage, that it be founded upon love, understanding, mutual helpfulness, and respect. And they're hitched. Being married feels amazing. I'm still taking it in. <laughs> When I saw Sandra walking down the aisle, I got uh, very emotional. And I'm lucky to have you. I am. And I love you. Thank you. When Sandra saw Kevin put on the Jewish robe, the kittle, she realized how much tradition really meant to his family. So out of respect, she covered her shoulder. With a jacket that Aggie had made for her at the same time as the dress. With the ceremony a success, all that's left is for Aggie to see the venue. What did you do? What did you do? I tried to follow your vision. It is gorgeous. I love it. I love the red carpet. I love the paparazzi. I love the setup. My mom came through, man. Yeah. Yeah, I was so totally surprised at what Shirley Ann did. I thought she did a great job. And I totally felt my mom's vision was interplayed in it. It was fun. Hollywood, was Hollywood baby. <laughs> Shirley Ann squeezed in a few of her ideas like the chupa and the religious ceremony, but that's okay, I loved it. I loved everything about it. We would first of all really, really like to thank our moms. They've done an amazing job for us. Thank you, moms. Thank you, momsies. Let's just celebrate. Feeling so gratified and relieved and happy. Everything finally came together. And Aggie loved it. I made the right choice putting Shirley Ann in charge. In the end, she totally delivered. She helped me pull together this wedding, and the bride and groom are in there dancing, having a ball. It's a party. It's Hollywood. It's the best wedding. <laughs> The food turned out wonderful, and everybody's dancing and having a great time. I am so proud of our moms. I think yeah. we're both so proud of our moms. They did an amazing job. Yeah. 
We have one very conservative Jewish family and one less traditional family. And I feel like in the end, they both came together and everyone is finally one family. I like the idea. I think our future is going to be great together. I don't have any doubts. Two different ways of life it is, brought together. This is to a good beginning. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez.